Okay, so this time the question is invert a binary tree. It's a very popular question. Um, Max Howell, the creator of Homebrew, went to the Google interview and uh, he was asked to invert a binary tree on the whiteboard. So, and he can he could not do it. So, so he was rejected. So this is what he put on his Twitter page. Google, 90% of our engineers use the software you wrote home to do, but you can't invert a binary tree on a whiteboard, so fuck off. So this was, uh, at one time I remember, uh, I also could not do it, so I was very able to relate with this guy and I was like, yes, they ask a very silly question. But <laughs> surprisingly, this time it was quite easy. So what exactly means by inverting a binary tree? So we have uh, the trees like uh, 4, 2, 7, 1, 3, 6, 9. So what exactly mean mm, to invert it? So I just took the liberty of inverting it literally on a paint. So this is 4, 2, 7, 4, 2, 7, 1, 3, 6, 9. So I just, uh, you know, selected this and uh, did some magic on it. There was some invert, something was there. Let me see, where can I find this one more time? So, well, I'm not able to. Yeah, let's, let's just invert this. Control C and then Control V. Let's just invert it. It was right there, yeah. No, not in work. Anyways, so Okay, so flip, no, rotate one of them, which one was it here, yeah, so yeah, so this was, uh, so this was our uh, 4, 2, 7, 1, 3, 6, 9, so I inverted it like this, so 4 will become uh, Four will be at, at this location then two will go there seven will go there its position will be swapped then six and this six and nine will go like like this okay so this is nine this is six and this is uh yeah so this is one and this is three one and three the position of one and three is also got three will will be like this and and one will be like like in that position of three and this whole position will be swapped to this so 1 and 3 and 6 and 9 so 9 will go this side 9 and 6 so if I just invert it one more time here yeah. so this is this was the original uh, free inverted it this becomes this so I, I took the liberty of rewriting the whole thing like this 4, 7, 2, 9, 6 and 3, 1 so how do we accomplish this? So basically, this is what I did. Pretty, I don't know if it is pretty straightforward or not because I remember in the beginning I could not do it. So yeah, this time I did it. Anyways, so what I'm doing right now here is uh, I'm getting my root in inventory and then I'm um, running this inventory utility function. This will be a recursive function and then I'll return the root. 
So what is happening in invert tree utility function? Let's go and dive into. So if the root if the node is null, then uh, that's it. Do nothing else. Otherwise, I have a temp variable. Save the left side of the node and uh, swap the left side of the node with the right side of the node and then run invert tree utility on the left side separately and on the right side separately and this magically happens so what is exactly happening in the in in the back is that for the first time when it goes uh, let's let's just uh, let's just see how it is uh, working so yeah so for the first time what is happening is that root is here 2 is here and 7 here so what's happening is that control x control v control x control v so this guy is uh, yeah so this is happening control x control v okay so in the first time Okay, so in the first time this is happening, next the same thing will happen with the children as well. So what will happen to the children is that uh, again this this will uh, this uh, this uh, invert tree util will run for the left side uh, for the right side and the left side. Okay, so what will happen if it will run in the right side? So let's uh, let's see. So basically, this will happen. So control X, control V. This will go go here, and then control X, control V. We come here. Okay, so this this will happen. And likewise, uh, this will also get swapped. Okay, so isn't this is this looking same for seven two seven two six nine six nine six three one three one? So this is exactly what is happening for each node it is swapping the left with the right and if it is null it is doing nothing and since we have the pointer to the root we don't have any problem we just recall uh, we, we, we have the pointer to the root so, so there is no problem so, so the child uh, taking so you know swap is taking care of uh, everything else so that's it so I ran it it was uh, Success with accepted solution. So that's it. Let's see what other solution we have. So that was the recursive solution. In this, they are not using using the utility function. In this case, uh, if the root is null, they return null. Otherwise, the right will be inventory of root dot right. Left is inventory of root of left. Root of left is right. It's it's kind of um, yeah, it's okay. But but mine is <laughs> I can understand mine quite well. I mean. Yeah, it's okay. So that was the program. Not pretty straightforward, but good one. It was difficult in the first time when I'm in long back when I was running it. it I, I could not do it, but this time it was it ran successfully. So that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. See you in the next video.